Hi folks, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Please do hit subscribe if you haven't done so yet. It really does help when you do that. So today folks, a couple of weeks ago I showed you the custom SD 1x12 combo from Highlight Electronics, a kind of high watt 504 style amp in a 20 watt EL84 format and very impressive it was too. Now as you can see it's still sat here over my shoulder and today I'm going to use that amplifier to give you a kind of first look really at three brand new classic voiced fuzz pedals that Highlight have coming out imminently. Now the first two kind of come as a bit of a pair because we have the High Fuzz Mark 1 and the High Fuzz Mark 2. Now as the name suggests and indeed the size and shape of the cheese style enclosure, these two pedals are very much shooting after the classic tone bender circuits of the 1960s, a Mark 1 and a Mark 2. Now these pedals are point to point hand wired using new old stock components. So the Mark 1 has OC81D germanium transistors in it, the Mark 2 has OC75s. So kind of the original transistors these circuits would have had in them back in the day. And both of these pedals have that classic raunchy spluttery right on the edge sound that we associate with the classic tone benders. So they are very faithful reproductions of those old circuits and both of them sound glorious. But the third pedal highlight I have coming out is a little bit different. This here is the Gen X Mark I. Now this also has germanium OC81 transistors in it and in the press release highlights say it's shooting after the sound of 90s grunge bands. Now that to me usually means some sort of big muff style circuit but this really doesn't sound like a big muff, it's quite tone bendery. But it has a very interesting tone control on it because this is a voltage bias control. So to Turn it down and it under biases the transistors, it becomes thinner but also more kind of gatey and spluttery, a little bit more velcro like I suppose. Turn it up, it becomes thicker but also very saturated and saggy. So a lot of different tones in that knob alone. Now it's definitely got the grunge thing going on but it's its own thing too. So what I'm going to do today folks is put each of these pedals into the custom SD in turn and leave the amp set exactly the same so you can hear how they fundamentally are similar and all different and just see what classic tones we can coax out of them. Now I'm going to use a telly today because tellies and tone benders just go together perfectly and I'm going to use the amp in its full 20 watt mode with the master wide open which is how I like to use it but also set it just at the edge of breakup so it's mostly clean but dig into the guitar there's a little bit of hair on the notes and then I'm going to use the pedals to push the input of the amp just a little bit because to me these kind of classic tone bender circuits sound their best when the gain of the pedal is kind of interfacing with the tube saturation of the amp and they're kind of rounding each other off and just melding together. So that's what I'm going to do today folks, just get some amazing classic fuzz sounds out of these three brand new pedals. So without further ado folks, here we go. <laughs> Bye. 
there we are folks. Now please do comment underneath, let me know what you thought of these three pedals today, which was your favourite and why. I love chatting nerdy guitar stuff with you folks down in the comment section. Now the Mark I is probably my favourite of the three because it has that kind of mid-rangey, right on the edge, raunchy, slightly misbehaving sound of the best Mark I tone benders. Now the Mark II is a little bit more kind of mid-scoopy in comparison to the Mark I, but quite sizzly, but in the, the best possible way. It's a fantastic sounding fuzz. The Gen X Mark I is very impressive. That filter control is incredible to play around with. And there are so many different sounds just by balancing out the sustain and the filter in this pedal. It's its own thing, but it's still sort of vintage voiced. So I really, really like the Gen X Mark I. But my favorite thing about all three of these pedals is, as is the case with the best tone benders, they are super responsive to your guitar's volume control. So you can almost set and forget them and just control how the pedal sounds and behaves on the fly. So with the volume wide open, all three of them are very kind of thick and spongy in the low end, especially on the lower strings. It has that kind of saggy thing going on. But just turn the volume from 10 down to nine or eight and a half, and it cleans up and becomes brighter. And depending on where you set the volume control, the mid-range character changes as well. So even though pedals like this only have two controls, volume and sustain, there's almost infinite tones you can get out of it if you put the time in to really get to know how to use them on the fly using your guitar's volume controls and pickups. So you can make them sound fundamentally different just by a slight movement of the volume control. And that's why I love tone bender style pedals. They are so interactive to play. But those are just my thoughts, folks. Please do let me know yours underneath. I love hearing from you guys on all this sort of stuff. So thank you ever so much for watching, folks. I hope this video was interesting and useful for you. Please do carry on subscribing. I know I always say it, but it makes a huge difference when you hit subscribe. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.